Hello everybody, here Rene again from Spain. I didn't know if I should make this video in English or in Spanish, but uh, I think I will make it in English because I'm going to talk about the fencing. The name of the fencing is Gates of Damnation. Of course, it was inspired by Niflheim, you know, a song by Niflheim. And this is done by Mike Leprosy, the guy uh, from Iron Curtain, you know, the leader from Iron Curtain. You see, and of course, this is his new fencing. This is the number one. Before he made the headbangers fencing, he made three numbers, like back in 2001, 2003, 2004, and then he stopped for many years. And now in 2019, he came back with this. I really love it, and I want to show a couple of bands, you know, in here, and uh, show some stuff, you know, like also at the meantime that I love about this band. Okay. Introduction, of course. Each all fencing should have this. Then we have Ram. You know, it's a great band. You know, you can see it better here. Ram. It's just an, uh, a great heavy metal band. To very much influenced by Judas Priest, but also by other bands. You know, other well less lesser known bands. You know, this is just a great uh, and powerful heavy metal. Especially live, they're very good. You know, this band, of course, they put them into the new wave of, of traditional heavy metal, but they started years before. You know, I put them more into into the league of Metal Inquisitor or Wolf. You know, those bands also started long before the new wave of traditional traditional heavy metal exploded. You know, with um, first with MySpace. You know, a lot of the first, the bands. People discovered those bands like Enforcer, Skullfist, White Wizard. You know, people discovered those bands thanks to MySpace. But or later, MySpace died, and then you know the bands started releasing demos and albums. And nowadays, the new wave of traditional heavy metal is an important movement in the underground because it's still like an underground movement. Let's be honest. You know, Enforcer don't get like 10,000 people to see them, you know. And I don't think it will ever happen. Okay, Ram. Then we have Vulture. Another great live band. I also saw them live. Same as Ram. Anyway, this is Vulture. You know, you, have to, you all have to check Vulture. If you like speed heavy metal, you should check them out. Here we have Vulture. You see? So one of the like it is more like a newer band. They haven't started so long long ago. And here we have Antichrist. They are so in the fan scene. You see, this is their first full-length album. I followed this band since their demo. I have the demo on cassette. Great band. Again, a great live band. I also saw them live. I'm just gonna show the stuff I'm more interested in. A lot of reviews are in here. You see, you can see a lot of reviews in here, demo and EPs reviews, LPs reviews. Here we have a band that I don't have the, the, the EP yet, but I, it's ordered from High Roller Records. And I'm talking about the band called Leather Bitch. Okay, I don't want to say it too much because maybe they will take this video down. You never know with YouTube and the censorship. You see? And this is a cool band that uh, you know that I think will get stronger and stronger in the underground. It's nice it's there and here. But here we have Flagellator, Flagellator, and they are from Brazil. Great speed thrust metal. This is the first full length album. And this came out like ten years ago maybe. I cannot see the date. But now they have already like a couple records out. Okay. Four, four page interview. Here we have Vulture's Lord. No, Vulture's Vengeance. I also saw this band live. They're from Italy. Very nice interview. You know, this mic did a very cool job, you know, to make it look very cool, this fencing. And of course, Vulture, uh, Vulture Vengeance. This is their first release they did. And now they have also a single out. And they also have. Soon, during the, the 2019, uh, a full-length album is coming out by the band. Okay, 
doing something else I thought I wanted to show, but no. Okay, uh, Prophets of Doom. It's a Spanish band. I don't know this band, Prophets of Doom. So I'm not gonna. Yeah, you can, you can check them out. And this is something I sent to him. You see, it's about Stone Vengeance, a band formed by black musicians. This is the demo tape that I talk about in this report. Stone Vengeance, one of the most underrated bands in history of metal. Stone Vengeance. Okay, and then we have also here Temptation, Tentation. They are from France. If you like Sortilege, Stratus, Stratos, or Hudson, or uh, H Bump, and stuff like that, you should also check Temptation. And here we have a split. It came out on uh, Forgotten Wisdom Productions. But Temptation has an EP out on. Inferno Records. In the past I made uh, videos about Inferno Records from France. This is a cool split. I mean these two bands are like brothers. You know, Iron Slot and Temptation. They're like brothers of metal. They have a club also, in, uh, like a metal club. And they organize festivals too. In the Pyrenees, in the Pyrenees, in the mountains. Between Spain and, and, and France. And it's the Pyrenean metal. It's also a club. It's very cool. And here we also have. It is an older video clip, uh, video, uh, an older uh, interview with Witch Burner, you know. And here I can show the German Trashing War EP, for example. You know, that's just a great band. Also a great live band. I mean, most of these bands I saw them live. And this is just a cool interview from 2013. But, uh, you know, it was not in any, anywhere, in any of his fanzines, you know, because he was not making fanzines then. But he still did this interview in 2013. And he thought, okay, let's include it here. And that's what he did. And he talks about Sabir. Sabir. And this is a band everybody should pay attention to. You know, this is going to be a new step for heavy metal underground, you know, in the future. Okay, the first release will come out uh, not long, but you can check on, on internet uh, uh, some recordings already. This is amazing, pure old school 80s. I mean, it's, um, it's just amazing the songwriting, the, the quality of the songwriting of this band. Okay, so I have to check them out too. Okay, this is what I want to show. In the description, you can see where you can buy Gates of Damnation magazine. A great fanzine just released by Mike Leprosy. Okay, take care everybody.